16 years. 2 and 16 is their record. Here are the matchups tonight. Charles Shackelford, who played two years with the Nets, then went to Italy and has signed a big contract. But as you might have heard, uh, not well received by the fans. And you see up front the matchups. And Dan, I think in this game, there may be a switch. We'll see off the opening tip. Believe it or not, Reggie Williams' assignment may be Charles Barkley. Well, I think that's a key matchup for the Nuggets because both Gilliam and Barkley play like power forwards, and it's going to be difficult for Reggie to guard either one of the starting forwards for the uh, 76ers. And it is Gilliam who will take the tip against Matumbo. Matumbo has uh, about five inches on him, and the Nuggets get it. Nuggets, remember, a very quick start in Boston on Monday, and that's just about the way they did it that Williams. night. Reggie Williams just walks in. What happened was Gilliam was involved with the jump ball and couldn't find his man uh, defensively. Reggie was wide open for the layup. Barkley touches the ball for the first time. Sore ribs on the left side. It's a muscle injury. Gets it to Gilliam. And the rebound is Shackleford. Retricted by Matumbo. And that brings the crowd out of their seats. Here's Macon handling the ball for the first time. He has uh, played several times here at the Spectrum. Matumbo out of his range, finds Macon inside, and that is blocked by Shackleford. But Matumbo gets it back, eight on the shot clock, fadeaway jumper, way off the mark. Barkley out on running. They say with him right now, it's just how much pain he can endure. As Dan had mentioned earlier, it's an injury that kind of takes you out for about four weeks. And he is now coming back after two weeks away. Gilliam, Matumbo is guarding him, and uh, they throw the ball away, so the Nuggets will get it back. Interesting uh, defensive matchup by Paul Westhead early. Of course, Shackelford not much offensively. He's gone with Cadillac on Shackelford rather than Matumbo. Matumbo guarding Gilliam. Quick move by Anderson, and he beats him, but misses the shot. And it is Gilliam gets it into the hands of the lightning quick Johnny Dawkins. The question after the knee surgery where he missed uh, all but four games last year, how that will cut into his effectiveness as far as his quickness is concerned. But Dawkins this year, averaging 14 points a game, hasn't seemed to have a problem. That will not count. This is the latest of the matchups against Macon. Not only does Mark Macon step in without a training camp and try to get into the flow, his assignment night in, night out is against the top guard on the other team. Look how quickly Dikembe gets over to help out defensively. Shackleford with not much of a chance to get that up. You'll see Charles come away with the offensive rebound. He thinks he's got a easy lay-in. Dikembe from the other side. On that particular out-of-bounds play, nice pass by Charles Barkley. Macon with his back to the play defensively, didn't have his hands up. And uh, an easy pass from Barkley inside to Hawkins. Hawkins shooting 90% from the foul line. He has hit 36 in a row over the course of the last few weeks. All tied up at two. The Sixers... Have a record of six and four on their home floor. Mark Macon goes all the way. And Macon generally gets uh, some of his offense going uh, on the penetrating drives. All alone is Gilliam, who came over last year from Charlotte in return for Mike Jaminski. Gilliam and Barkley, who sometimes get in one another's way on the floor. Gilliam played extremely well in Barkley's absence. Anderson taking it in on Gilliam, who is suspect on defense. And Anderson hits. Nuggets with a 6-4 lead. Barkley taking a look. Guarded by Williams. The Nuggets will try to give Barkley the outside shot. They'd rather him starting to shoot out there than to work inside. And it is Williams who grabs it away from Barkley. There may be a problem with his, his extension. Williams, and it counts, and he is fouled. Reggie Williams explodes to the hoop. Reggie Williams, we've talked a lot about how important this game is to make it, but Reggie with a bunch of family here, the lobby full of relatives, and uh, he's come to play tonight, too. What a great move to the basket. And Reggie, one of the best finishers on the Nuggets team. When he gets inside, he usually gets it down, and he completes the three-point play. And that's five points now for Reggie Williams, who in the last few road games kind of shedding the reputation of a home court player. At 18 last, uh, last game against Boston, 
26 the game before against Houston. Gilliam now with four points. Charles Barkley doesn't appear to be looking at the hoop. Remember, he's joining a team now that has won two big games against Portland and Chicago. And Barkley understands, too, with him not at 100%. As Matumbo makes the beautiful move, the Nuggets winning some fans early here at the Spectrum. Some spectacular hoops. Hawkins came from the top on the double team, and Dikembe realizing if he could go anywhere, it was baseline. It counts in the foul. Gilliam, the big scorer in the opening minutes. Well, so far in the early going, it looks like the Nuggets don't have anybody that can stay with Gilliam. He's too quick for Matumbo and too powerful for Reggie. And uh, Gilliam right now taking advantage of the uh, defensive mismatch. 6-9-2-45 in his fifth season out of UNLV. This is his third NBA team. He has seven of the Sixers' nine points. Denver up by two. We have 8.39 to go in the first quarter. Now, Williams, who may be too quick for Barkley. No pass too high for Matumbo. Eight on the shot clock. The double team, Matumbo, rolling around, and he will be hit with a personal foul, offensive foul on Dikembe Matumbo. They're going to call Dikembe for the hook. Watch his elbow. See if he gets it around Shackelford right here. Oh, I don't know about that. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Nunez with the call. 8.20 left in the first quarter. Nuggets are looking for their second victory of the season on the road. First one coming in Houston. Percy Hawkins has been quiet. Dawkins wide open, pulls the trigger. And it's ripped down by Anderson. He bullets it ahead to make it. Make it against Hawkins. There is Reggie Williams on the run and here's the basket and a big start for Williams who has seven. Hawkins gets tangled up but stay there says Ed Rush. He calls the foul on Macon. Now Mark Macon is uh, his second personal foul. And that's exactly what you don't want to happen. Now he's going to have to sit down for the rest of the quarter. We talked about Reggie and his ability to finish a play. When he gets inside, he usually gets it down and a nice move going to the other side of the basket and really making it an easy shot. Sixers should be looking for Hawkins. Macon stays on with two, but now they isolate. Barkley wheels away, and it counts, and he is fouled. But Tumbo helping out, and for his help, gets his second personal foul. And that a big test for Barkley there with that kind of move. When you look at Barkley, you don't think of him having quickness because of his size, but look how quick he gets in the air, and Dikembe does get a, a hand on either the basketball or the arm, but Barkley has great quickness for a man his size around the basket. Sixers donning their new uniforms. We'll take votes on that a little later. Barkley wearing number 32. Tribute to Magic Johnson. He was number 34. They actually had to unretire the number. 32 worn by Billy Cunningham. And one of the numbers retired by the 76ers. But Barkley will wear it for the course of this season. Matumbo, the big step. Shackleford rips it down. And now the Sixers a chance to take the lead. And is off one of the Nuggets and out of bounds. 7.21 left in period number one. Al Albert along with the horse, Dan Essel. A homecoming also for Paul Westhead, who coached uh, LaSalle here for many, many years. Played at St. Joe's. Hawkins gets his first field goal. Barkley's absence over six games. Hawkins has been blistering the net for 24 points per ball game. 22nd timeout is now called by Paul Westhead and Paul Ferry animated. One of the most demonstrative uh, Paul Westheads that we've seen right now trying to spur on this young team. He knows that they have to stay close. They've got a chance to win this game. Barkley back after a long layoff and it looked like just when the team, the 76ers, was getting used to playing without him, here he is back in the lineup. Paul has made one change Walter Davis comes in for Mark Macon, who has to sit down with the two personals. 5 nothing run for the Sixers in the last minute and a half, and they have now moved in front for the first time tonight. We're five minutes into this game. Reggie Williams picked up by Hawkins, goes over him. Matumbo with a monster tip. Long-distance tip by Matumbo. 
And he has four points. Matumbo had 19 points in the first half against Parrish on Monday night. A terrific first half. Perhaps his best as a pro. And then ran out of gas in the second half. The quick hands of Reggie Williams, but he was standing out of bounds. And now we have the full timeout to the 76ers. 6.43 on the clock. Tonight we're in Philadelphia. We're in the first period, and the Nuggets lead the Sixers. Fans, now at 7-Eleven, you can get quality Citgo gasoline. Because it's only at 7-Eleven. Now you don't have to pay more for quality. Come on in and check it out. Only Citgo has the performer, premium unleaded HTA 1000. And my wife says that's good. The Citgo Plus charge card lets you charge at cash prices. You can charge Citgo gasoline or anything you want in the entire store. Ice cold Slurpees. Big gulps and super big gulps. And nobody else has got that. Did I hear someone say thirsty? We are the neighborhood store. Why go anyplace else? You know when it's right, you know when you feel it, baby. You hold it, you hear it, you taste it, it's right. You got the right one, baby. Yeah. If this irrepressibly lovable, unsurpassably callable, and intimately soulful, you got the right one, baby. With 100% Nutrisweet. You know, like the old saying goes, uh, there's no I in the word team. Yeah, there are really no individuals here. It takes everybody giving their all to be the best. We're out to be the best. We know it takes more than just us to do that. It takes all of us, really. We're backed by everybody at CNN. We have a whole newsroom full of dedicated people who are committed to this community. If you go on the air with a team like that, you really can't lose. This copyright program is presented by the authority of the NBA and the Nuggets and is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of the NBA, the Nuggets, and KWGN is prohibited. Nuggets with their first change. Walter Davis replaces Mark Macon, who leaves with the two fouls. Swooping move and a goaltend is called on Matumbo. Uh. I don't know about this. Let's take another look at it. Gilliam beats Anderson easily down the lane to Kembe around. I don't know. Was the ball coming down? So Matumbo uh, has a couple of blocks already, and uh, the goal 10 certainly making the Sixers think about it. Philadelphia leads by one. Johnny Dawkins puts it in the hands of Barkley. Again, isolated against Reggie Williams. Using the size 6 5, 250. And it's Anderson from behind to make the block. Six on the shot clock. Williams wrapping up Gilliam and the steal by Davis. He's going, going, gone. The Nuggets applying the pressure and retake the lead. And what happened now was Hersey Hawkins realized that he didn't have much time to get the shot off, was real careless with the basketball, and Walter with the nice steal. Five minutes, 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Hawkins with Davis on him. There's a force by Hawkins. Barkley, and it counts. And there is vintage Charles Barkley taking on the Nuggets Twin Towers inside. And we'll take another look at it. And again, watch the quickness of Charles Barkley, the offensive rebound, and right back up the bump by Dikembe. Barkley wound up almost out of bounds and plays like that put Charles Barkley at the top of the field goal percentage leaderboard in the NBA. Struggling from the foul line this year, 63%, but he's made his two tonight. Sixers lead it by two. Garland has been off to some quick starts on the road of late, yet to score. Right on cue, no. This goes against Reggie Williams. And now, right now, uh, the Nuggets starting to get in a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, Matumbo has two, and Macon has two. And this looked like a pretty easy call. Gilliam going for the ball, and you see Reggie just shoving him out of bounds. And that one goes against Williams. 
Armand Gilliam, who was acquired from Charlotte, the idea was to create more offense here for the 76ers, but many feel they did nothing more than create some congestion inside with both Gilliam and Barkley. And Barkley has been all over Gilliam, publicly voicing his disdain for Sometimes the lack of effort on the part of Gilliam. And that's not going to hurt the, or help the relationship right there. Gilliam drills a free throw, but Barkley so running from half court gets in the lane too soon and takes a point away from Armand. Gilliam has half of the Sixers' 20 points. 20 to 17, Philadelphia in front. Williams leaves Hawkins in the dust and then is fouled. Shackleford almost First pulled the arm out of the socket. Second foul on Shackleford. And Reggie Williams really lighting it up on offense. A nice move to get to the baseline. And you see Reggie very clever with the basketball, keeping it away from the block and winds up on his back. But he'll have two free throws. Joe Wolf checks into the game. And Dikembe sits down with his two personal fouls. Williams, 83% foul shooter, misses the first. And seven foot seven, Minute Bowl, who comes in to replace Shackelford. Minute, what a weekend he had. Against Portland, he had seven blocks. Against Chicago, he had six block shots. Listen to this stat, Al. I think this is unbelievable. In the games played here at home, when Minute Bowl is on the floor, the opposition is shooting 39%. When he's on the bench, they're shooting 53%. Think he doesn't alter some shots in there? It's a knock your socks off That's statistic. That's right. That's exactly right. Williams gets it into the hands of Davis. Nuggets looking to tie the game. Garland weaves his way in. Oh, he's called for traveling. Garland does not agree as he crosses the path of referee Jim Capers. And the young Nugget team, Al, still insists on making this a difficult game. They try to make the tough pass, the first trip or two, or first uh, pass down the floor, rather than just making the easy pass and creating opportunities. Bumping is Gilliam. Nice play by Wolf. Here the Nuggets, two on one. Lead pass to Williams. This will be against the Nuggets. I believe it's on Reggie it's Williams. Greg Anderson, his no, second no, it's on Cadillac Anderson. Yeah, they're going to call Cadillac on the back. Good defense by Joe Wolf right there, slapping the ball away. Walter with the outlet pass, and uh, the Nuggets are off to the races. Reggie misses a shot, but watch Cadillac come in right there, and they're going to call him for the foul. That's already the eighth personal foul on the Nuggets, and we've still got over four minutes to go, and you can see Cadillac doesn't think much of the call. Anderson, Matumbo, and Macon, each with two. Tidal Lichty makes his first appearance. Saw a little more time uh, in Boston on Monday. And looking forward to getting more and more playing time. Percy Hawkins, the streak continues. And he made the best of that playing time, Al, although it was pretty much at the end of the game when the game had long since been decided. He did have nine points, and uh, that's exactly what you have to do is make the best of whatever playing time you get. The one advantage of being blown out is uh, to give some of those players uh, the time that's needed. Hersey Hawkins just barely got that one in. His foul shooting streak now 38 in a row. And the Sixers' lead is four. And the Sixers, after a made free throw, come out in a half-court zone defense. The Nuggets that time do a good job of moving the ball from one side of the floor to the other and find the wide open Walter Davis. 20th all-time score in NBA history. He is now 16 points away from Bob Lanier at number 19 and 17 points away from Dolph Shays, the 18th all-time scorer. Just seven seconds to shoot. And the foul came underneath. Personal fouls on Joe Wolf. Oh, they call on Joe Wolf. That is uh, Wolf's first foul. Chris Jackson, his first appearance of the night. And he gives Winston Garland a rest. Chris has been playing awfully well in Boston, however. Just two of eight from the floor, four points. Winston's going to get a breather. And once again, the 76ers are back on the free throw line. Charles Barkley says this man is the key to this team. And when he's hitting his outside shots, 
maybe it just means it's the key to his game. When he's <laughs> when Hawkins is hitting out his outside shots, it opens it up inside for Barkley. And this streak, I think, starting to get to yeah, Hershey. Yeah. He's taking a little <laughs> longer each time and kind of slopping them in. Uh, but he finally gets it to go down, and the streak is still alive. Well, the last three uh, did 360s around that rim. Eight points for Hawkins, six of them from the foul line. And the Sixers lead it by four. Wolf against Gilliam. Anderson can't duck it on Manut, but he gets the follow-up. Two-point lead for the Sixers. Barkley with three minutes to go in the first quarter. He has now Lichty on him. And a legal defense is called on the Nuggets. Yeah, Joe Wolf's trying to help out, but his man, Armand Gilliam, is way out at the three-point line. Manu Bowl is low right on the baseline, so the help is going to have to come from Cadillac Anderson, not Joe Wolf in that situation. Lichty uh, gives about 40 pounds to Barkley. They'll try it again. Now Wolf comes over on the double team. Manute, this is an adventure, but he sets it up for Gilliam, who muscles in. Big first quarter for Gilliam. He has a dozen of the Sixers' 26. The crowd just kind of gets to their feet once uh, Manute Bowl gets the ball, especially that deep. Swept away by Gilliam, and now the Sixers on the run. They do not run much. Dawkins struggling to find his shot. 2.15 left in the first. Lichty makes the fake. Jim Capers very quickly whistles him down. Traveling violation against Todd Lichty. Paul Westhead off the bench. A timeout has been called late in the first. You subscribe to the Daily and Sunday Denver Post for 85 cents a week because you get Sundays free, right? No way. It's got better sports, more color, and it's bigger. Come on, it's because Sunday's free, right? No, it's the only paper with sections we can share, and it's actually there, 6 a.m. I guess you don't care if you get Sunday free either, huh? What, are you nuts? I got it because of the deal. You give me Sunday free, you got me. Call 832-3232 and get Sunday free. It's bigger, it's better, it's free. Call right now. Now, a Supreme pizza is just $8.99, and any other pizza is four bucks more. So I could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers Plus, Pepperoni, Green Peppers, Pepperoni, or even another Supreme. That's right. You could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers Plus, Pepperoni Lovers, Mushroom Pepperoni, Onions Pepperoni, Mushroom and Anchovies, or even another Supreme. The new Pizza Hut Supreme four bucks deal. Now get any medium pizza for four bucks when you buy a Supreme for just $8.99. Make the second a cheese. Is that plain cheese, extra cheese, cheese lovers, Call plus, now. Cheese, plain cheese, and Nuggets fans, tonight is Pizza Hut night at the Nuggets. Call now for a dollar off a Supreme Pizza. Call 751-1111 for Pizza Hut delivery to your door. Next on tap for the Denver Nuggets right here on Channel 2 is the fifth and final game of this road trip. Isaiah Thomas will be smiling into the Channel 2 cameras. Along with uh, his uh, teammates, uh, Dennis Rodman, Bill Lane Beer, they are struggling, but they're still the bad boys. Also, Orlando Woolridge gets his first crack at his former teammates in the Nuggets on Monday. So join us right here on Channel 2. It's the Nuggets and the Pistons, game time, 5.30. Paul Westhead has many things on his mind before he gets to that Monday date with the Pistons. And foremost right now is the Philadelphia 76ers who lead the Nuggets by four, coming down to two minutes left in the first quarter. Al Albert along with a horse, Dan Issel, in Philadelphia. And you said it, the 76ers don't run much, and that's why when they do run, they're not very successful. Hawkins, the fadeaway, turns into a pass to Ron Anderson, the veteran sixth man. Dawkins tries again, and he can't find that basket. Lichty guarded by the smaller Dawkins, who was a first-round draft pick for San Antonio before coming to Philadelphia for Maurice Cheeks. Davis, he's hot tonight. Walter has been struggling. He was one for six against Boston, but tonight he's hit three from the outside. And there is Hawkins, who... 
led the nation in scoring at Bradley at 36 points a game before he became a high first round draft pick. Four point lead for Philadelphia. High scoring first quarter for the 76ers who only average 101 points a game. While Barkley was out, the Sixers went six straight games without reaching the 100 mark. On the run is Lichty. Inside a minute to go in the first. Davis fires it to Wolf. Swish. Joe Wolf, who is playing his best basketball of the year over the course of the last week. Can't wait for tomorrow night against the Nets. He had 15 against New Jersey in Denver. Yeah, and I think it's just a result of getting more playing time. He's uh, in the eight-man rotation that DePaul seems to have gone to the last four or five games. Johnny Dawkins getting further and further away from the hoop. Dawkins 0 for 5 from the field. Now the Nuggets working for one shot. They have seven seconds to shoot. Davis takes it in, gets the step on Anderson. Matumbo, and he beats the clock. Matumbo with the jam. Six points for Dikembe. It's all not up. Last shot goes to the 76ers. Dawkins won't take it wisely. And that ends the first quarter of play. And another strong first period on the road for the Denver Nuggets. Come into Philadelphia, and they are tied at the end of one. Reebok Omnizone? Yeah, very lightweight, which is key for this jam. Oh, yeah? Which jam? The King Kong Jam. discovered its real draft taste the world is a very cool place it's nba action at its best charles barkley david robinson carl malone and denver's own seven foot two dikembe mutombo and kids it's free target and pepsi present youth nights at the nuggets just pick up your Target Pepsi Youth Night coupon at the Pepsi display in participating Target stores. Presented at any Ticketmaster location or the Arena Box Office. And for every adult ticket you purchase, you'll get up to two children's tickets free. Get your coupons today and catch the excitement of NBA action free. Supersize! Return to Splendor! This is what's in store for the holidays at McNichols on Wednesday, the 18th of the 7th. Kevin Johnson, then Michael Adams, first trip back to McNichols Arena on Saturday, the 21st. Chris Mullen can't wait to get back to McNichols. He'll be there the day after Christmas, the 26th. Saturday, the 28th, Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics make their only appearance of the season. Two nights later, it's Charles Barkley and the Sixers for their lone appearance at McNichols. Ticketmaster has the tickets. You can give them a call at that number, and operators are standing by right now to take your requests. We are ready for the second quarter, all tied up at 28. The Nuggets and the 76ers. And very quickly, Philadelphia is on the board. Second-year man, Jason Williams, out of St. John's. And he gives Philadelphia the lead. Chris Jackson remains on the floor for the Nuggets. Mark Macon, with the two fouls, rejoins the squad. Reggie Williams, Joe Wolf, and Dikembe Mutombo remain in there. Mutombo, unusual situation, looking up against a defender. One on the shot clock. Macon, swish. So Mark Macon 
has hit two of three from the floor tonight and has returned to Philadelphia. And the field goal percentage certainly not hurting the Nuggets tonight. They're up to 56% as we get an offensive foul, I believe. It. On Brian Oliver, number 31, that's his first. And you see the first quarter shooting percentages. The only thing that kept the 76ers close was the free throw line. Charles Barkley gets a rest. He had six points in the first quarter. First game back in two weeks. High man Armand Gilliam with 12. Percy Hawkins with eight. With six of those points at the foul line. Well, Hawkins had 10 points. Reggie Williams, that's a force. There were two seconds left on the clock. Jackson with the fake, flicks the wrist. Swish. First field goal tonight for Chris Jackson. And right there you saw the big difference in Chris Jackson. He's using the ball with the fakes and the dribble to create open shots for him instead of taking that shot under defensive pressure. Reggie Williams is high for the Nuggets with nine. Manu Ball, I don't know what you call it. He's been practicing that before the game. Didn't miss a shot. Mark Macon makes the move, sets up Matumbo. Back it goes to Matumbo. He got it over Manute Ball, so that's an accomplishment. New second leader in black shots this year, about four a game behind David Robinson. Phil Wolf, before this night's over, can move into the top ten. He's had several block shots. Macon takes on Ball, and Macon is charged with his third foul. Well, Macon uh, not showing much respect for Minute. He's going to take it right to him, but watch him swing that left hand right there. That's the offensive foul, and uh, as Al said, foul number three. And so we'll see how much longer Paul keeps Mark in the game here in the first half. Macon has no fear on the floor. I think you've noticed the toughness. He'll take it in against anybody. As a matter of fact, I think with Paul there, just lit making up even more. Reggie Williams stops, pops, and he is fouled. Hit on the arm by Ron Anderson who went dashing by. So Philadelphia has their starting lineup with the exception of Mercy Hawkins sitting on the bench. Anderson, sixth man role. Although as a starter, he has performed better, certainly getting more minutes. Sixers taking advantage of their foul shooting. Charles Reggie Barclay Williams has turns. taken the only foul shots for the Nuggets. All right, Barkley is back in. Barkley, who was uh, injured November 11th when he fell to the floor in an odd way on his uh, left side. Damn, it hurt the muscles around the uh, ribs on the left side. He played seven more games with the injury, but the pain continued to increase and then had to sit out. He sat out uh, November 27th. He was playing for the first time in two weeks. Normally, the uh, Sixers have rushed him back. This time, they've been very cautious. He actually wanted to come back. And they told him no. Traveling violation. Uh, Manute trying to figure that one out. Yeah, right there, the 76ers learned a valuable lesson, Al. You don't throw it to a man seven foot seven when he's on the perimeter. You make sure he's down low before you trust him with the basketball. That goes along with the rule of thumb. Don't throw it to a seven foot seven man on the break. Exactly. Jackson is covered and leaves the Nuggets with just four seconds to shoot. That was a tough attempt by the tumble. With four seconds on the clock. For Chris Jackson. Bullet pass like that. So Macon will have to go out with the three fouls. And Winston Garland comes back on. Near steal, and it is a steal by Garland as he picks the pocket of Brian Oliver. Almost got it back. No, Macon stays on the floor. Chris Jackson is the man replaced. Paul Westhead has uh, been known to roll the dice in foul situations. 20 left in the second quarter. Nuggets with their biggest lead. Four points. Oliver at Georgia Tech. Team with Dennis Scott and Kenny Anderson into the final four. Another legal defense on the Nuggets. This is their second one, and it'll mean a foul shot for the Sixers. And that one's going to go against Winston Garland. His man, Brian Oliver, out at the three-point line, and Winston was all the way back in the paint. And so with the second illegal defense, a technical foul, and uh, Ron Anderson, an 88% free throw shooter, is going to take the technical shot here.
brings Philadelphia to within three. Paul pleading his case to uh, official Tommy Nunez. But uh, those illegal defensive rules are, are pretty specific, Allen. If you're that far away from your man down in the paint, you're going to draw it every time. Now it's Macon's assignment of Barkley, and he makes the steal. Macon makes it happen. Garland on the hustle. Macon trying to finish it off, and he'll get to the foul line. So it is Mark Macon at 6'5", 185, taking on the 250-pound Barkley. Second, Mark Macon shooting two. And so far, uh, Mark Macon shooting a little better from the field, two of four. This will be his first trip to the free throw line. All American at Temple. His freshman year, Temple was ranked number one in the country. For a good portion of the season, went to the final eight on two occasions. It's the highest scoring freshman in the NCAA. Makes one of two five points for Megan. He's got to feel great about coming home for this game tonight. Four point lead for the Nuggets. Anderson a little wild with the dribble. In Barkley's absence over the last six, he's been scoring 20 points per ball game. Well, the two rookies have now exchanged two bad passes to one another, and it comes back to the 76ers with a chance to tie it up. And there is Macon extending to keep that ball away from Ron Anderson. Remember, fans will be selecting tonight's Miller Genuine Draft Walter play Davis of the game. And now Walter Davis will check into the game and Mark will sit down. Paul will play players with foul trouble. However, he doesn't let them get too fatigued. He makes sure that they have a, a good rest period before he sends them back into the fray. There's Anderson. And there was Anderson. Ron, then Cadillac. And Cadillac passes it to Ron. And you see why the opponents are shooting just 39% when the new bowl's on the floor. Walter Davis gives the foul, rather put Barkley at the line than a, getting an easy dunk. And a timeout is taken. We have just ducked under seven minutes left in the second quarter. And the Nuggets holding the lead here at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. This is Gary Newberg being an early bird making coffee at a 7-Eleven of the stars of West Hollywood, California, where they come in for Gary's freshly ground and brewed coffee. Hey, look, it's McLean Stevenson. It's just the thing they need, because while the stars may come out at nighttime, everybody wants to wake up looking good in the morning. So if you're a big movie star or one of the little people who made it all possible, but you want some good coffee, stop by your 7-Eleven, the sign of good times. He is the man you love to hate. How do you dial a phone with a straitjacket on? His words can kill. No who's dead? dead? Who's dead? No Tell me who's dead. dead. And he knows it. You're telling me you sent me a bomb in the mail? No. Someone wants to kill him. I don't know where you live, partner. Sweet dream, sweetheart. Eric Bogosian, Alec Baldwin. Come on, get him out of here now. An Oliver Stone film. Talk radio. 7 p.m. on Denver's 2 Thursday. Kevin Johnson, Tom Chambers, and the Red Hot Phoenix Suns will be in Denver on Wednesday, the 18th of December. That's uh, when the Nuggets will return home from this long road trip. Uh, for information on tickets, call 893-3865. The Suns, with their long winning streak, 
And right now they are the hot team in the NBA. Tickets are also available at Ticketmaster locations, including Sound Warehouse and May DNF stores. And there's a number you can call for information from Ticketmaster. The Nuggets against the Phoenix Suns when they return home on Wednesday night. December 18th, a 7 o'clock start. Operators standing by at Ticketmaster right now. Charles Barkley figured he'd give it a shot. You know, Barkley coming back, the team was on a roll. Two big victories against Portland and Chicago. And figured Barkley may not be at 100%. Uh, actually could be disruptive to the 76ers in his return tonight. It is a tie game, 35-35. Now the double team on Winston Garland. He finds the open man. Anderson takes on Bowl. And Bowl from a standing position runs it off the rim. Ron Anderson likes to drill it from the outside. Anderson. There's one thing that Ron Anderson can do, and that is shoot the basketball. And when he gets it going, he can put it in the hoop with the best of them. Manute Bowl seeing more time than anticipated this year. Charles Shackelford has uh, certainly been a disappointment in the middle. Six straight points for Philadelphia. There's Bowl with the rejection. Matumbo takes him on. And uh, Bowl certainly changed Matumbo's shot. Well, he is seven foot seven with long arms, and when he uh, stands flat footed, he can almost extend up over the rim. And you see him getting up in the air and blocking Cadillac. And then, as you said, Al, he had an effect on Dikembe's shot as well. In seven years as a pro, Manute Bowl is averaging three points per ball game and four block shots a game, more blocks than points. Personal fouls on Walter Davis. This is a foul on Davis, his second personal. Second. Paul West had now starting to shake his head as the Sixers on a run. Too hot to handle, but I believe Davis will be called from behind, and that is quickly number three. See, and that's a bad call, Al, because there was no way that Anderson was going to be able to catch that ball. Barkley threw it like a bullet over his head. That should have been like a pass interference <laughs> in the NFL. If the ball is uncatchable, there shouldn't have been a foul. Sixers get a break. Johnny Dawkins, who hasn't been able to find the basket tonight, 0 of 5. But Tumbo ripping it down, and uh, Nunez now calls one on Barkley. It appears as if there's some exchanges here on the calls. First foul on Barkley, and it looked like Barkley was just wrestling for the ball with uh, with uh, Matumbo. Nuggets of Garland, along with Williams, Davis, Matumbo, and Anderson. Matumbo with five rebounds. There's the fake by Davis. Anderson has little room, tries to thread the needle. Garland wraps up Anderson. Now, he really wrapped him up far from the basket, but did not want to take the chances on going up against the 6'7 Anderson and also the possibility of a pass to the other side. So Garland gets his first personal foul. Around the NBA tonight on the Sitco 7-Eleven scoreboard, you see Seattle losing by three in New York. And Cleveland uh, losing in Miami and Charlotte with a one-point lead over the Mavs. Sixers with a two-point lead over the Nuggets. 5-18 left in the first half. Jason Williams getting some time tonight. Pushing off with Shackelford, but he gets away with that. A steal by Barkley off the inbounds and uh, four quick points by the 76ers. That is their biggest lead. And, or, or rather, uh, Davis. Walter, Davis. Waller off the bench with eight points tonight. That basket by Davis, the first of the Nuggets in some time. It was 10 straight points for Philadelphia. Jason Williams just rams Jason Williams into Cadillac Anderson, so he gets his second foul. Williams at 6'10", 240, certainly an NBA body. But uh, he refused to sign with Phoenix, who drafted him in the first round and was traded here to Philadelphia and uh, getting in uh, slowly. Williams has his shot. Reggie Williams, that's a two-pointer. 13 now for Williams. 
who's been averaging 23 a game over the course of the last five. Just a simple little pin down by Dikembe on Charles Barkley, and uh, Reggie popped to the corner wide open. Nuggets are uh, resilient tonight. They now bounce back to within two. Gilliam. And it's snatched by Matumbo. Rebound number eight, uh, six for Dikembe. The 20-footer, Gerland on target. And the Nuggets have scored six straight to not it up. Again, the 76ers walk it down. I think Philadelphia thinks the Nuggets have the same strategy of last year. They are really making an extra effort to keep this game in a slow down pace. Making his back in with the three fouls. Three and a half minutes to go. Joe Wolf joins him on the floor. Cadillac Anderson, Walter Davis uh, have a seat. Davis goes out with eight. Second high man for the Nuggets tonight. Good call by the official. Uh, Percy Hawkins made a cut to the baseline. Just grabbed Mark Macon by the shoulders and shoved him out of the way. The officials caught him. Jimmy a little upset with the call, but it was a good one. Nuggets go the other way. Bynum in his fifth season as a head coach here at Philadelphia. Previously had been a head coach with the Clippers. Nuggets have scored six in a row. Make it eight. Garland hitting the last two baskets to tie the game and to put Denver in front. Dawkins eyeball to eyeball with Garland. There's Hawkins for three. Percy Hawkins, 19 three-pointer of the season in 56 attempts. A very effective three-point shooter. Yeah, the Sixers by one. Barkley is going to the bench. Ten points so far here in the first half. A perfect three for three. And Charles, the first game back, certainly not forcing the pace. He's letting the game come to him. And we'll uh, get a judgment on how he feels, see how much he plays, if he plays in the second half. If it's bothering him after the first half, may decide to uh, take the rest of the night off. Garland again. Swish. Winston, Winston Garland, Garland on fire. Has hit three in a row. And the Nuggets retake the lead. Gilliam trying to take it in, gets the double team. There's Garland again, the quick hands. Matumbo points one way, but he is overruled by the officials. It will be Philadelphia ball. They'll have just eight seconds to shoot when we return from this timeout. For 1992, there's a snowmobile that has a powerful 190 horsepower engine. Jeep Cherokee Laredo, the snowmobile that features four-wheel drive, automatic transmission, air conditioning, power windows and locks, tilt steering wheel and more. No wonder it's one of the most popular snowmobiles on or off the road. And right now, it can be yours for only $2.99 a month with Gold Key Plus financing from your Jeep and Eagle dealer. See your local Jeep Eagle dealer. Now, a Supreme pizza is just $8.99, and any other pizza is four bucks more. So I could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Green Peppers, Pepperoni, or even another Supreme. That's right. You could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Lovers, Mushroom Pepperoni, Onions Pepperoni, Mushroom and Anchovies, or even another Supreme. The new Pizza Hut Supreme four bucks deal. Now get any medium pizza for four bucks when you buy a Supreme for just $8.99. Make the second a cheese. Is that plain cheese, extra cheese, cheese lovers, Call plus now. Cheese, plain cheese, and Nuggets fans, tonight is Pizza Hut night at the Nuggets. Call now for a dollar off a Supreme Pizza. Call 751-1111 for Pizza Hut delivery to your door. Al Albert along with the horse, Dan Essel. At the Spectrum in Philadelphia, it has been close throughout. Nuggets with a one-point edge over the hometown 76ers. With two and a half minutes to go. This is the second game of this five-game road trip. Nuggets beaten in Boston Monday, 132 to 94. Most points scored against Paul Westhead's team this year. Previously, Utah had scored 121. Realized last year, 132 points against the Nuggets would be a great defensive effort. Uh, uh, uh. Well, tonight, the young Nugget team uh, pretty patient offensively, and it's paying off. Well, right there, it was Matumbo who changed direction of Dawkins' shot. Macon makes the save. Williams pulls the trigger. 
Denver by one, coming down to two minutes in the first half. Charles Barkley now on the bench. This is the first game he has played after missing six in a row. Hammering away is Gilliam. And this will go against Philadelphia. Jimmy Capers making the call against a very aggressive Ron Anderson. And Jim Lynham, the 76er coach, starting to stalk the sidelines. He realizes, Al, that the longer the 76ers let this Nugget team hang around, keep a little lead, stay close, the more difficult it's going to be to, to beat this team because a young team gaining confidence on the road, uh, you can't relax. And so far, the Nugget's hanging tough. Going against the Sixers and Barkley is not a totally new experience for Dikembe Mutombo. Remember, Nuggets beat the Sixers in preseason, and it was a coming out party of sorts from Mutombo with 21 points and 19 rebounds. And the reaction of Charles Barkley after seeing Dikembe for the first time said, This guy is going to be a stud. And uh, Barkley uh, knows what he's talking about. Mutombo on the road uh, has been swarmed uh, by the press and media. Really making a great impression, very endearing personality, showing his sense of humor and honesty and, and that low voice. Totally winning over fans here on the East Coast. Garland. Shackleford loses to Garland. Now Williams squeezes in. 15 points for Reggie Williams in the first half. The crowd here in the spectrum not real sympathetic with uh, Charles Shackelford. Of course, he signed the big contract at the beginning of the year and uh, really not putting up the numbers, the basketball numbers, to m match the numbers on the contract. This one will go against Garland, and it is his second. Remember, also, as Davis and Anderson come in for the Nuggets, replacing Williams. And uh, Matumbo gets a rest with a minute 13 to go. Reggie Williams, 15 points in the first half. He had 18 against the Celtics Monday, shooting 9 of 13 from the floor. He had 12 of those 18 in the, the third quarter, trying to keep the Nuggets in that game. They only played 22 minutes, so Reggie Williams once again doing it on the road he has been the Nuggets leading scorer in eight games this year more than any other Nugget to head that category but Ball comes in for the final minute 13 Hawkins is now seven of seven from the foul line his streak is at 41 but teetering Anderson predicts it will end tonight <laughs> That was the best one he shot of the of the eight that he shot. Uh, that one finding nothing but net. Hawkins yeah. 15 to match Williams 15 of the Nuggets. As those streaks go, Al, it's harder and harder to get that follow through all the way through with that arm. Dawkins stays with it. And he sets up the tip for one of the NBA's best opportunists. And here's another giveaway. But they get it back. Nuggets playing very scrappy, taking some chances, which also results in turnovers. We're tied at 48, coming down to 30 seconds left in the first half. Garland looking for Davis. He can't shake Anderson. Now he gets it with Anderson on him. Goes over him. Got it. Davis. Double figures for Davis. Ten points in the first half. And now Philadelphia will go for the last shot. And uh, barring a three-pointer, the worst the Nuggets will enter the locker room with at halftime is a, a deadlock. Dawkins so far has been old for the first half. He'll look to penetrate and dish. Oh, look who he dished to. One second. Well, everybody else was covered, so Johnny Davis said, what else am I going to do? And uh, Manute uh, brought them out of their seats for the last few seconds, and they are buzzing now at the spectrum. But that ends the first half of play, and the Denver Nuggets take a two-point lead into the locker room at halftime against Philadelphia. Before this, you never heard of cold filtering. Before this... 
You never heard of genuine draft taste in a bottle. Now hear this. Get out of the old ditty for the cold. Cold feels the taste what it's all about. Never heat past your eyes. So the rich, smooth taste don't cool down. Those who discover it's real draft taste. The world can be a very cool place. Get out of the old, get into the cold. Miller Genuine Draft. Great weekends, great games, all at a family price. Your family will get four game tickets, four Pizza Hut Go pizzas, four Pepsis, a Nuggets game program, and parking, all for only $29. Watch for the family night ad and order form exclusively in the Rocky Mountain News. Hot hoops, hot meal, hot deal, family night, only $29. And $1 from every package is donated to the Nuggets Youth Foundation. NBA action, now at a family price. Presented by the Rocky Mountain News and KWGN. Now, a Supreme pizza is just $8.99, and any other pizza is four bucks more. So I could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Green Peppers, and Pepperoni, or even another Supreme. That's right. You could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Lovers, Mushroom Pepperoni, Onions Pepperoni, Mushroom and Anchovies, or even another Supreme. The new Pizza Hut Supreme four bucks deal. Now get any medium pizza for four bucks when you buy a Supreme for just $8.99. Make the second a cheese. Is that plain cheese, extra cheese, cheese lovers, Call plus now. Cheese, plain cheese, and Nuggets fans, tonight is Pizza Hut night at the Nuggets. Call now for a dollar off a Supreme Pizza. Call 751-1111 for Pizza Hut delivery to your door. Tonight's halftime is brought to you by the Denver Post. For better sports, more color, and the latest scores, there's only one paper in town. The Denver Post. Subscribe today. 832-3232. In the NBA, I didn't know really what to expect, and uh, it was more physical than I expected it it would have been. And and plus, I had to adjust to a whole new role, and you know, I was I was letting a lot of things frustrate me. And it, it was, I think it, I'd say it was both the little things as far as injuries and things like that, and also adjusting to a new role and the physical play and the amount of games, of course. I, I wasn't used to the amount of games played. I'm so at, this year, I'm so at peace with myself. Uh, I don't let, like, as opposed to last year, I don't let a lot of things get to me, uh, frustrate me. I just go out and just give 100%, and that's all I can ask for. And I'm just so at peace with myself right now. There's not a lot that bothers me anymore. Not to say I don't care, but there's a lot that I don't let get to me. I just go out and play. The name is Mahmoud abdul Rauf, which means victorious one. It also means servant of the mo most merciful, uh, which is God. And uh, you would call him a priest, and that's that's who gave gave me the name. And it's it's considered an honor when he gives you a name. The year I had and things I was going through, and it was just the fact that. I, I was searching. I didn't know. I wasn't. I didn't know. At the time, something wasn't right, and I was looking for something just to take me away from all that. And and the religion I was in, I just couldn't find that. And uh, I, you know, I found Islam, and that's what changed me. The summer I worked out five, seven days a week, cause five days a week with a trainer, and. Weekends, I worked out on my own, and I only spent like two weeks at home. So the whole summer, I basically stayed here in Denver working out, and it was, it was a tough summer. You know, I had to discipline myself to go every day and, and work out, and it, you know, in the summer it's kind of hard because you're on your own, you don't have to do things, and and but it, I think I benefited from it. It made me feel that they had some confidence in myself. Uh, it made me want to go out and work harder. Uh, to prove to myself that I can do it and also to them that I can do it. And I'm still trying to do that now. Uh, but it, it made me feel good, but then again, we lost a good point guard. And, uh, you know, but you have to move on. Being that, you know, I was third pick and, and a highly regarded rookie coming out, 
I would, you know, I, I wasn't, I didn't come in ready to play. And I would say, in a way, I'd probably been a little disappointed. But then again, a true fan, he's with you when you're down and when you're on top. So that's, that's all that I'll say. I look at those situations like Kevin Johnson that I've heard. I never heard about um, John Stockton, though, but uh, it, it, makes, it makes myself feel a little bit better. Uh, well, you know, if, I'm just, if I just have a little bit, time, a little bit more time to, to improve, maybe I can't be in that position. Uh, and that's, that's what I'm working on someday, just to you know, be able to be, be like those guys. Stay positive. Don't let things get you down. Uh, this game is, is its physical, but also it's mental. You have to be prepared mentally as well as physically. And, and uh, you just you just have to go out and you just feel confident. You have to be confident. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. Don't let anyone take your confidence away from you because you, you need that in this league. And uh, I, I've, I've learned that. In the last year, sometimes it, my confidence I didn't have it. I love, I love the game. Um, I had a talk with someone a while back, and they were, they were like, "Well, you know, you're making the money and things like this." And I said, "Well, the money don't mean anything to me." Uh, I said, "If I wasn't playing right now in the NBA, I'd be playing on the playgrounds or something." That's how, that's that's how much I love the game. Lift tickets, $28 adult, $10 child. You subscribe to the Daily and Sunday Denver Post for 85 cents a week because you get Sundays free, right? No way. It's got better sports, more color, and it's bigger. Come on, it's because Sunday's free, right? No, it's the only paper with sections we can share, and it's actually there, 6 a.m. I guess you don't care if you get Sunday free either, huh? What, are you nuts? I got it because of the deal. You give me Sunday free, you got me. Call 832-3232 and get Sunday free. It's bigger, it's better, it's free. Call right now. NBA hoops, these guys are cooling off a of hard work, styling and slamming, just like we wish we all could. Clocking the poles, to them you're just a witness, busting the move, yeah, taking care of business. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. NBA hoops, they're fresh, they're full. From the cities to your hood, this card is preferred. Everybody's doing it. Hoops is the word. Jam it. Yo, take it from me. This is one death jam. Official. Admit it. It's exquisite. When you call it, call it. Is it never a life? You can dance and dance with a man that you can dance. Yeah. Share it. Choose it. Blues it. Drink it. Never a life. A very scrappy first half for the Denver Nuggets shooting extremely well and taking a two-point lead over the hometown Philadelphia 76ers at halftime. Al Albert along with the horse Dan Issel and Dan you know last Saturday about 3,000 people uh, waited in line for up to two hours at guards. The fuss was well they wanted to meet Dikembe Mutombo and Mark Macon and buy the Nuggets merchandise. Here's the latest the two new T-shirts uh, on the right, the pass and smash T-shirts, the pass from Macon, the smash from Matumbo. And then uh, on the left, uh, Dikembe has his own T-shirt, uh, all to his own, and that actually reflects all of Matumbo's league-leading seven names. Uh, and uh, matter of fact, in Boston, we had Dikembe join us to kind of explain the derivation of the names. Dikembe is his uncle's name. His fa uh, father's name is Matumbo. Um, Polando is his um, grandfather's name. Jean Jacques was his uh, nickname in the streets, sort of the Dr. J. And the Wamatumbo is actually the uh, 
the family name. The one in the middle I just can't see from here, and it's, it's one of his uncles, or uh, uh, I believe uh, it could have been his grandfather's name. Grandfather was over seven feet tall. So uh, those are the uh, latest of the merchandise items uh, presented by the Denver Nuggets. And here are the latest statistics uh, presented by the Nuggets at halftime. Well, the Nuggets are doing a good job of being patient, getting good shots, and as a result, they're shooting 52% from the floor. You see the only thing keeping the 76ers even close, a perfect 15 of 15 uh, from the three-point line. Percy Hawkins foul. has, uh, from the foul line, I'm sorry, Percy Hawkins has the one three-pointer. The Nuggets rebounding uh, by six over the 76ers. Turnovers pretty even. Uh, points off the turnovers dead even. And the Nuggets uh, doing a little better job on the bench than are the 76ers. The Denver Nuggets here in Philadelphia doing everything, including selling T-shirts. And they have a two-point lead at halftime. We'll come back to take a closer look at some of the individual statistics in just a moment. You know when it's right. You know when you feel it, baby. You hold it, you hear it, you taste it, it's right. You got the right one, baby. Yeah. You got the right one, baby. Make your break for Breckenridge and see the 1992 Diet Pepsi Team Ski Challenge. Red cars. The dream team is a reality, and it's about to become a nightmare for the international basketball world. It's the first time Team USA will include NBA players and features the game's megastars. The team's first appearance is at the Olympic qualifying tournament, the Basketball Tournament of the Americas in Portland, Oregon, June 27th through July 5th. Join us in Portland as we go for the gold. Leading scorers for the Nuggets, Reggie Williams with 14 points. He's made five of nine from the floor. Walter Davis off the bench has hit five of his seven shots. Matumbo with seven points uh, to go along with seven rebounds. And Winston Garland hit those three key shots back to back to back to put the Nuggets in front late in the second quarter. For the 76ers, uh, Hawkins eight of eight from the free throw line. Armand Gilliam had 10 in the first quarter. And Barkley, a perfect three of three from the floor. And we'll be back for the start of the second half from the Spectrum. The Nuggets 50 and the Sixers 48. NBA action at its best. Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Carl Malone, and Denver's own 7'2", Dikembe Mutombo. And kids, it's free. Target and Pepsi present Youth Nights at the Nuggets. Just pick up your Target Pepsi Youth Night coupon at the Pepsi display in participating Target stores. Presented at any Ticketmaster location or the arena box office. And for every adult ticket you purchase, you'll get up to two children's tickets free. Get your coupons today and catch the excitement of NBA action free.
Tonight's halftime has been brought to you by the Denver Post. For better sports, more color, and the latest scores, there's only one paper in town, the Denver Post. Subscribe today, 832-3232. Welcome back to the Spectrum. Just beginning the second half, Hersey Hawkins takes it to the basket and once again gets to the foul line. Cadillac Anderson has his third personal foul. And we'll see if the uh, free throw streak can continue. Hersey Hawkins now at 42 in a row from the foul line. He is at 8 of 8. 90% foul shooter to start the game. He may be a 100% shooter before it's over. All right, giving Dan Issel more of a chance to be correct. The more and more he goes to the foul line, the likelihood that he may miss a foul shot. He's averaging just under 21 points per ball game. Second best on the Sixers behind Barkley. And, oh, that almost He's had four shots that had every bit of a chance to fall out as it did to fall in. Ties the score at 50. Anderson takes it right in, makes the fakes, and hits the reverse. Nuggets by two. They're looking for their second win on the road this year. Barkley has returned after the halftime break. Again, he is guarded by Reggie Williams. In low is where Gilliam works uh, most of his magic. His offense is basically positioning and muscle. And I think if you're going to allow Gilliam to catch the ball that close to the basket, Alec, Cadillac's going to need help. You can't guard an NBA player that close to the basket all by yourself. Tie game at 52. Two on the shot clock, making for three. He has hit one of his 14 attempts from downtown this year. That uh, was one of the closer ones. Rimming the basket. Now Barkley again. They clear out. Barkley makes the wheel on Williams. Loses control, but it's last touch by a nugget. Charles Barkley, first ball game since November 27th. He's been shelved with a rib injury. Tony Harris, the trainer of the Sixers, said he got a call from the Philadelphia Phillies trainer who says that his guys, when they have a similar injury, generally out about four weeks. Barkley now coming back after two weeks out. Well, Gilliam held on to that long enough and then finally threw it away. Well, that wasn't really good uh, play on Gilliam's part because he's being guarded by Matumbo. Should have passed the ball instead of trying to make a move on Dikembe. Now the double team on Matumbo. Risky pass. It counts. And Anderson is fouled. But wait. Jimmy Capers, I believe, will wave it off. Yep. Take a look and see if this is continuation. Nice pass by Dikembe inside the Cadillac. And if they're going to call it on Barkley, the shove came as, as Cadillac was receiving the basketball, so that's a good call. And the foul indeed is against uh, Sir Charles as his second personal foul. Nearly two minutes into the second half, Matumbo with a nice fake, and he draws the foul. This could be a Barkley. Nope, that's on the Shackleton. That's his third. So Matumbo picking up a few fakes inside. Shackleford gets number three, the former net. After a year in Italy, actually the fans pretty hard on Shackleford because they knew also that one of their favorites had to be released. The Sixers could not re-sign Rick Mahorn to make room for uh, Shackleford's salary. And you probably could have gotten Mahorn for uh, considerably less than Shackleford signed for, so uh, the money also coming into play. Shackleford uh, signing reportedly for $1.3 million. Nine points from Matumbo. The Nuggets lead again is a two. Dawkins, who hasn't missed uh, hit a shot yet. And now Hawkins, and you have to worry about him warming up. Over the weekend, he had 30 and 29 against the Trailblazers and the Bulls. Reggie Williams from the outside. There's Shackleford for the rebound as Cadillac Anderson goes flying. Hawkins for three. 
A couple of the uh, Nuggets big men didn't get back defensively. As a result, Winston Garland had to go all the way to the paint, which left Hawkins wide open. And a 20-second timeout right here by the Nuggets is the 76ers starting to get their act together. And Paul wants to nip it in the bud. Hershey Hawkins, two shots. Back to back, one a three-pointer. And uh, that three-pointer has given the 76ers the lead. The Nuggets tomorrow night will be in New Jersey, a 5.30 start. You'll be able to see that ball game on PSN as uh, you will Saturday in Indiana starting at 5.30. And then we'll be back here on Channel 2 Monday night as the Nuggets close out the five-game trip in Detroit with a 5.30 start. So Mark Macon, who's been struggling offensively, providing the toughness defensively for Denver, but on this trip, he has been burned by Reggie Lewis, and now it is Hersey Hawkins who is lighting it up. Well, what might be happening, Al, is as he continue, continues to struggle offensively, it might, might be affecting the rest of his game. Garland takes it in. Nice fakes by Winston Garland, but he can't connect. Shackleford now doing a job on the boards in the second half. It's Macon up on Hawkins. Barkley gets a pick from Gilliam. Nine on the shot clock. And the dish off to Shackleford. And this will be against Philadelphia. Going to go against Shackelford as he's called for uh, pushing off. That's his third personal. Let's take another look at it underneath as uh, Sir Charles drops it off to Shackelford. He's going to miss the shot. And right there, it did look like that Char or Shackelford took the worst of that exchange, but he's called for the personal foul. Matumbo calling for the ball against Shackelford. In double figures is Matumbo with 11 points. He's averaging 19 points per ball game. And the Tumbo, a uh, different feeling tonight. He's not seeing the double team as much as he has. All alone against Shackelford on that last play. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Shackelford now comes out with the three personal fouls. And Manute Bowl, who was certainly a defensive force in the first half, takes his place. Barkley goes in, and Ball from a standing position right underneath cannot put it in the hoop. Well, if Minute had any offensive game at all, Al, uh, he would be a good substitution because he certainly can dominate a game defensively. But the 76ers playing four against five on their offensive end as Minute shoots a three-footer from a foot and a half. And fighting uh, Barkley is his own man, Gilliam, and a traveling violation. I, I think that is basically how you could size up the relationship okay, well, between I, these two players. I was going to say that under normal circumstances, you would say that Barkley didn't realize that he and Gilliam had the ball, but uh, the way their stormy relationship has gone, maybe they knew exactly who had the basketball <laughs> with them. Matumbo over Manu. Now Dawkins comes out of the pack. Sixers holding on to the one-point lead. Fans one on the shoot. Ball, over a few years, uh, took a liking to those three-point shots. But the coaching staff here in Philadelphia has told them to forget it. Nice pass by Williams. Matumbo over ball, and we have a whistle that score the basket. Yeah, they're going to say that Manute went up through the net. And that, of course, is goaltending. We'll take another look at it. Dikembe, watch him really gather himself right here to get ready to go up. And you see Manute goes inside the rim instead of outside. And that's the goaltending call. Matumbo from Zaire. Goal from Sudan. Anderson taking on the muscle of Gilliam. Armand Gilliam's got it going, 16 points. Philadelphia leapfrogs in front by one. 6.50 to go in the third. The tumbo fadeaway, and Bowl got a piece of that one. Denver Ball. Well, this will be interesting to talk to Dikembe Mutombo, hear his reactions. 
going against Manute Bowl for the first time in regulation. Todd Lichty is getting ready to come in, and we'll see his return when we return to the spectrum. Fans, now at 7-Eleven, you can get quality Citgo gasoline. But it's only at 7-Eleven. Now you don't have to pay more for quality. Come on in and check it out. Only Citgo has the performer, premium unleaded HTA 1000. And my wife says that's good. The Citgo Plus charge card lets you charge at cash prices. You can charge Citgo gasoline or anything you want in the entire store. Ice cold Slurpees. Big gulps and super big gulps. And nobody else has got that. Did I hear someone say thirsty? We are the neighborhood store. Why go anyplace else? Just a reminder from the Colorado Lottery that life's not all fun and games. jot down this address uh, here's a chance to win a trip on Continental Airlines if you are chosen to play the around the world with Continental Airlines shootout at a Nuggets home game you'd have the chance to win round trip airfare anywhere in the continental oh, USA so send us a three by five card with your name address and date time and phone number you must be at least 18 years of age Tanner Continental Airlines one airline can make a difference Cadillac Anderson makes the difference in the lead. He gives it to the Nuggets. Eight points now for Cadillac, who's been doing a yeoman's job on the boards. Ten rebounds against the Celtics. He had 22 rebounds. Nuggets season high. The game before against Los Angeles. Nuggets give Hawkins, the hot man, the shot. Garland takes a bump. Licky just checked in over Manute Ball. Matumbo stays with it. It counts, and he is fouled. The Kenway Matumbo. Matumbo taking the punishment inside, staying with it, and now could have a three-point play. Well, Todd takes his shot, and he misses, but he does get Manuel away from the backboard, and that gives the Kenway a chance at the offensive rebound. And right there, the foul by Bowl as he rushes back into the game defensively. And uh, you see his numbers against the Celtics on Monday night. And Dikembe completes the three-point play. Foul shot by Matumbo is good. 16 points now for Dikembe Matumbo. He's hit four of his five foul shots tonight. Barkley draws the crowd. Nuggets by four. And it's Williams who strikes it away from Bull. The Nuggets in a hurry. Williams goes behind the back, gets by Barkley, and sets up Anderson. Hip trap by Reggie Williams, and Anderson's in double figures with right, 10 points. Right now, Al, Jimmy Lynham wants a 20-second timeout as he sees the 76ers starting to fall behind, and the reason is they can't make a shot. Percy Hawkins about the only uh, player on the floor that's able to hit a perimeter jump shot, and they're only shooting 35% from the floor. See Reggie with the uh, nice move around behind the back and the dish to Cadillac. And the Nuggets are up by six. For four years, the NBA and the fans deprived of seeing uh, Reggie Williams at his uh, All-American best. And uh, we are just starting to see the glimpses of it right now. Helping out Cadillac Anderson on that play. Folks, treat your car to high-performance Citgo gasoline at participating 7-Elevens. Citgo gasoline with HTA 1000 is one of the most advanced cleaning fuels you can buy. 
Barkley cleans out the lane. He has a dozen points, so he get a chance to add one more at the foul line. Only the second foul on Williams, whose assignment tonight is Barkley. And Reggie had a few words with Dikembe after that play. Reggie forcing Barkley to the baseline defensively. You see him throw his hands up in the air. He's saying, Dikembe, you got to get over there a lot quicker than that and help me out if I'm going to try to guard this big fella. So Hoyas uh, talking over that one. Barkley now with 13. Before that three-point play for Barkley, you remember Percy Hawkins hit that three to give Philadelphia a 57-54 lead. Nuggets had outscored them 11-2 before Barkley's uh, three-point. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Anderson, Matumbo reaching in. Reggie Williams takes it away, and he is... No, a goaltender's call. Ball once again is hit with a goaltend, and Reggie Williams gets another hoop. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Jimmy Lyman is uh, really upset, and I don't blame him. The only thing I can figure out is maybe that ball hit the backboard. A steal by Garland, and the Nuggets peeling out. Garland, the stutter step, finds Reggie Williams, and he draws another foul. Reggie Williams slicing and darting across and through the lane, making things happen for the Nuggets. Well, see and, uh, how clever Reggie is with the basketball. Winston with a little stutter step. Reggie Williams shooting two. And see, he just keeps the ball away from Manute. Let's go back to that play before, see what happens on this call. Oh, no, that's I think that Nuggets. was just a bad call by the Frank outside Anderson. official. Ron Anderson returns from the 76ers. So Manu Bull trying to figure him. things out. The play in which he was called for the uh, goaltend did not look like a goaltend, but it was a foul. He hit him on the head. Williams hit the first shot, and he comes back with a second. Reggie Williams, an 83% foul shooter, helping his cause tonight. Six of seven from the line. And he now has a team-high 18 points. Matumbo with 16, nine in this third quarter. And I get's biggest lead, 69-62. Now Joe Wolf comes out to try to stop Barkley. Garland has a couple of words with uh, Manute Bowl. Those are two former teammates with the Golden State Warriors. So Garland gets the foul. The 6'2 guard fouls the 7'7 seven seven Manute Bowl. Now, Bowl doesn't get many opportunities from the foul line. He's only had three this year. Now that's four foul shots this year, and he is two for four. And he likes to get it over quick, Al. He doesn't even dribble the basketball. He just shoots it away. First point for Ball. Last year, Manute averaged 1.9 points a game. He is consistent, folks. This season, coming into this game, he is averaging 1.9 points per ball game. Garland passed Ball and put a little extra gravy on that one. 69-63, Nuggets by six on the road. Four minutes left. Barkley looking for three. You give Sir Charles that much time to square up and to get everything in the exact order, and he's going to knock it down just about every time. He's cut down the three-point shots. That's only the third one he's made this year in 13 attempts. It's about one per game. Barkley goes for the steal. What will Joe Wolf do with it? And it looks like it's Denver ball. Three and a half to go in the third quarter. Nuggets led by seven. It's been sliced to four. Chris Jackson makes an appearance. Uh, Jackson only three minutes in the first half. Took one shot and made it. Davis off the screen. Swish. Perfect play for Walter Davis. A nice screen set on the baseline by Lipty and Wolf. Walter popped open. A dozen now for Walter Davis, six of eight from the field. Barkley dribbles it off a foot. This will be a backcourt violation. Uh, Dawkins just uh, lets it go out of bounds. Denver gets the ball back. They have a lineup that features Chris Jackson, Todd Lichty, Walter Davis, with Dikembe Mutombo and Joe Wolf. Jackson has had the extraordinary hot hand. Not having a last game in Boston. 
shooting at 66 percent. Another goal against a rare field goal. And the Nuggets come right back. 73-68. Nuggets really coming out tonight. Shooting well, playing a good, scrappy game from one end of the court to the other. Hawkins winds up on the seat of his pants. And it's foul number three on Matumbo. So Hawkins will wind up right back at the foul line where he has been ten times tonight and hit ten foul shots when we return to Philadelphia. I wear the pump cross trainer because I like a secure fit. That's it, and that's that. It's it, and that's that. It's it, and that's that. Nothing beats it. You want the bar across the street. <laughs> With the new year just around the corner, make a resolution this year that really counts. We all know how to recycle. Now let's learn to pre-cycle. That means buying goods that you already know are biodegradable. Or other goods that come in recycled or recyclable packages. By pre-cycling, you'll help get a head start on the race to save our planet. Happy holidays from everyone here at Channel 2. It's a great time of year to help clean it up, Colorado. Sponsored by Public Service Company. The Nuggets, along with Gart Brothers and Reebok, are teaming up for superstars of the NBA. Kids, listen to this. If you're between the age of 10 and 16, you can win a locker room visit with some of the top NBA stars like the Nuggets, Dikembe Mutombo, and Patrick Ewing, and Larry Bird, and David Robinson. So uh, look out for details at your local Gart Brothers store. Find out how you can register to win in the superstars of the NBA. Here's one guy who's uh, trying to fit into that category, an all-star last year. There's the streak, 51 in a row. And still going, 11 of 11 tonight. I think we jumped the gun. Maybe yeah. it's a script, and that's what he's going to make, 51, 51 in a row. Actually, that foul shot uh, made it 45 straight. Now the question is, will he get to 51? He may do that tonight. 24 for Hershey Hawkins, uh, carrying the 76ers here tonight, keeping them in it. Nuggets with a ball lead by three. We have 2.15 to go in the third quarter. Walter Davis got it. Davis on fire tonight. 14 points, and uh, he has hit six, or check that, seven of his nine shots. And the 76ers came out in a full-court press, which meant uh, Walter Davis was open on the baseline, and that's going to be a third illegal defense against the Nuggets. And I think that one went against Walt Davis, so, uh, of course, Hersey Hawkins will go back to the free-throw line. A chance to extend the streak. He has five field goals. He's 12 for 12 from the line. They get a little harder when nobody else is accompanying you at the lane. And Hawkins taking more time for this one. Oh, there it is. The streak ends. And Dan Issel knows what he's talking about. He could see that early just straight from the horse's mouth. Well, you can almost see when a streak like that starts to affect a player. And I thought Hawkins, from the very first one he shot tonight, looked like he was well aware of the situation. Hawkins threw his uh, legs. The shot clock still 10 seconds, plenty of time. The double team, so it leaves Dawkins open, and that's the first shot he has made tonight. Now that's a good play. Let Dawkins shoot from the outside. He had missed his first eight shots of the game. I would say at this point, Al, the way that the 76ers are shooting, you let anybody shoot it from the perimeter. 
Chris, Chris Jackson. He's taken two shots tonight, and he's made them both. He shot 66% from the floor in the four games before Boston. 17 points a game in just 20 minutes. Nuggets lead it by five, coming down to a minute. Ron Anderson, Sixers looking for some offense. Anderson rips it down, and Manupo almost ripped the head of Anderson off. All right, here is Jackson putting on the moves. Crowd going ooh and ah, but that shot off the pace. Now Barkley tied up by Todd Lichty. So Lichty hustling back and not allowing Barkley to get off the shot. Barkley wants a little more than just a foul shot. As Barkley steps to the foul line, let us step up to the 7-11 Sitco scoreboard in the NBA tonight. New York having a battle on their hands at Madison Square Garden with Seattle. Miami uh, trying to get things going again. Uh, lead Cleveland by 15. And uh, Charlotte at home uh, over the Mavs. The Mavs just a game behind the Nuggets in the Midwest. And San Antonio trying to shake things loose. Spurs have lost five in a row. Winning in Minnesota. And it's a couple of later starts. Barkley makes the two foul shots. He's a perfect seven of seven from the line in his first game back. Has 18 points. Barkley last year fourth in the league in scoring, averaging 23.6 a game. Comes into this one this year, averaging 23.6 a game. Those are the final seconds of the third quarter. Nuggets have six seconds to shoot. Walter Davis gets the double team, and he is called for the foul. Walter with four personal fouls on the Davis line. And that will enable the 76ers to go for the uh, last shot of the quarter and a chance to get the lead down to one if they score a two-pointer. Actually, there's about a two-second differential on the clock. They now have seven seconds to shoot. Dawkins, a nice stop by Chris Jackson. One second. And the new ball makes up the difference. So a big offensive night for Bowl. He now has five points. Dawkins had to take the shot. The 24-second clock is just about to expire, and it's not pretty, but it still counts two points, and the Nuggets have a one-point lead at the end of three. We'll return to the spectrum. Three down, one to go. The Nuggets on the road. Great weekends, great games, all at a family price. Your family will get four game tickets, four Pizza Hut Go pizzas, four Pepsis, a Nuggets game program and parking, all for only $29. Watch for the family night ad and order form exclusively in the Rocky Mountain News. Hot hoops, hot meal, hot deal, family night, only $29. And $1 from every package is donated to the Nuggets Youth Foundation. NBA action, now at a family price. Presented by the Rocky Mountain News and KWGN. For 1992, there's a snowmobile that has a powerful 190 horsepower engine. Jeep Cherokee Laredo. The snowmobile with four doors. Shipped on the fly four-wheel drive. And available ABS brakes. And right now, save up to $26.25 with package discounts and cash back on one of America's most popular snowmobiles. See your local Jeep Eagle dealer. For comfort, convenience, and peace of mind, try the Stouffer Concourse Hotel at Stapleton Airport. The Stouffer Concourse Hotel. You can count on their good name. Superstars, return to splendor. Stars will rain on the Nuggets during the holiday season at McNichols Arena starting December 18th, the Wednesday, Kevin Johnson. And then Michael Adams makes his first and only appearance back of the season as Washington comes in on the 21st, the Saturday. Thursday, the 26th, the day after Christmas, Chris Mullen and the Red Hot Golden State Warriors mark down Saturday, the 28th of December for Larry Bird and the Celtics. And two nights later, December 30th, a Monday night, Sir Charles Barkley and the Philadelphia 76ers make their only appearance of the season. And you can uh, pick up your tickets 
Through a call from Ticketmaster, operators are standing by now. The Nuggets at home against some of the great stars of the NBA over the holiday season. And now as we start the fourth period, a very important time for the Nuggets. They're going to have to be patient, get good shots. They lead by one coming in. Mark Megan back on the floor, sat out most of the third quarter. He has three personal fouls. Tommy Nunez makes this call against Manute Bowl. Illegal defense, that's the first against the Sixers. And that's the first time that we've seen the Sixers in that half-court uh, press defense that it wasn't after a made free throw. Barkley gets a rest. He's on the bench with 18 points, of which eight came in the third quarter. Nuggets with the Macon and Jackson and Davis, Matumbo and Anderson, who makes the twisting move. Ripped down by Gilliam. Line up for the Sixers. Brian Oliver, the second-year man out of Georgia Tech. Not seeing much time this year, but last year scored 19 against the Nuggets, and Jimmy Lynham remembers that. So seeing a little more time tonight, and he gets fouled right there by Chris Jackson. So it's Oliver and Hawkins in the backcourt. Bowl, Gilliam, and Ron Anderson up front. In the first minute of play of the fourth quarter, Al Albert along with Dan Issel at the Spectrum. Nuggets clinging to a one-point lead against the hometown 76ers. Gilliam banging inside, blocked by Matumbo. And now it is Jackson on the run. Walter Davis stops, he pops. Swish. Walter Davis does that better than anybody that plays in the league. When he gets an open jumper on the fast break, you can mark it down. And mark it down, 16 for Davis. He's too shy of his season high. He accomplished a few days ago against the Clippers. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an illegal defense called against the Nuggets. Well, what Walter did was he started to go for the double team. Now, you can go to double team and then get back to your man. But Walter started, got about halfway, and stopped. And that's where the illegal defense call came from. And uh, Hersey trying to start a new streak right. as he goes back to the line for this technical foul. It ended at 46 after he made 12 in a row tonight. And he missed on an illegal defense. And, well, he has started a new streak, Dan. Hasn't, has missed his last two foul shots. Well, if nothing else, these illegal defenses are shaking up Hersey Hawkins. That's right, and that's bad coaching by Jimmy Lyons. You've got to get him off of there. <laughs> I think next time he goes to the foul line, all the Nuggets should get away from the lane. All right, now Hawkins trying to do it from the floor. Digging in is Mark Macon. Double team, Jackson, and either Jackson or Macon slapped it away. Jackson, quick release. Nuggets by three. Nearly two minutes gone in the fourth period. Nuggets right after this game will bust up the Jersey Turnpike where they'll face the Nets tomorrow night. Get a good night's sleep. Don't have to travel on a day of the game. Jackson, oh, he's wide open. He flicks the wrist. Anderson scraps for it, but Philadelphia comes out. Brian Oliver, second round pick. Steal by Macon. Here's Davis. Ball is back. Walter stops, fakes. Jackson sets it up for Anderson. Do we give Jackson the assist? That's a dozen now for Cadillac. That's one of his better offensive performances in the, a few games. The Nuggets lead is now five, and Jimmy Lynham can't take it anymore. He calls a timeout. 9.24 to go in period number four. The Denver Nuggets hanging in there. They now expand their lead to five. You know when it's right. You know when you feel it, baby. You hold it. You hear it. You taste it. It's right. You got the right one, baby. Unsurpassably callable and intimately soulful. You got the right one, baby. With 100% Nutrisweet. 
NBA hoops, these guys are cooling off a of hardwood. Styling is slamming, just like we wish we all could. Clocking the poles, to them you're just a witness. Busting the move, yeah, taking care of business. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. NBA hoops, they're fresh, they're full. From the cities to your hood, this card is preferred. Everybody's doing it. Hoops is the word. Jam it. Yo, take it from me. This is one death jam. Official. Now, when you call 751-1111 for the hottest delivery in town, you'll receive a free Nugget TV schedule from Pizza Hut. Be sure to catch all of the action this season here on Channel 2. of it all. Nuggets by five, nine, 20 left in the fourth quarter. Johnny Dawkins being hounded by Chris Jackson. Davis all over Anderson. The Nuggets trying to tighten up defensively. A little too tight right there. And Cadillac Anderson is his fourth Personal foul. Great. Anderson, his fourth personal foul, team second. Just a second uh, team foul, so not a bad uh, foul by Cadillac. Three minutes into the fourth quarter. Charles Barkley still resting on the bench. So Gilliam goes to work. Ripped down by Dikembe Mutombo, his tenth rebound of the evening. And six of them have come on the offensive board. Matumbo with ball. Macon moves in a little closer. Macon goes again. Philadelphia busts out. Dawkins on the run. Shovels it to Oliver. Making the moves on Davis. It will not count. A traveling violation on Brian Oliver. And give Dikembe uh, Mutombo a lot of credit for getting back very quickly defensively and not letting Oliver have the clear path to the basket. Barkley checks back in. And Jimmy Lynham now sweating this one out. Five-point lead now for the Nuggets. Jimmy Lynham, who coached at St. Joe's, his assistant was Jim Boyle. And then when Lynham left to uh, enter the NBA, his assistant with Portland to start his NBA career, Boyle became the St. Joe's coach and was for many years. Walter Davis. Walter Davis cannot be stopped tonight. He has now tied a season high of 18. And after Walter hit that jumper, Barkley, who's supposed to be guarding him, just shook his head. When Walter gets in a streak like this, there's not much you can do with him. Nuggets lead is seven. They've scored the last six points. Four on the shot clock. Barkley bumping against Matumbo, and it will go against the uh, Nuggets rookie fourth foul. The Kembe just put his hands up and closed his eyes. And Charles is upset with the call because uh, he had a wide open layup for Shackelford, and the official really took a basket away from the 76ers there by making that call. Chris Jackson sits down. Chris uh, made his first two shots, then missed his last three. 7.50 left in the ball game. Now it's one-on-one, -on -one, Barkley and Davis. The help comes from Anderson and Matumbo. And Barkley stepped out of bounds or dribbled out of bounds. Turnover against the 76ers. Philadelphia coming off wins over two teams who many project to meet in the NBA Finals, Chicago and Philadelphia, without Barkley in the lineup. And tonight it's uh, the Nuggets by seven here as we get closer to the midway point of the fourth quarter. Garland pulls the trigger, and Shackleford, the rebound. Gilliam, that is not his shot facing the basket from about 10, 15 feet away. Davis is open, and Gilliam reaches for another rebound. Nuggets by seven have had a couple opportunities now to add a few points to that. Hawkins, the quick move, and it's foul number four on Mark Bacon. Williams returns for Walter 
Well, you mentioned earlier, Al, the 76ers, not much of a running team, and uh, they're down by seven here. And each time down, they're having to set up and then try to run a play. Walter gets a blow, misses one shot, and they take him out of the game, Al. So one hot man goes out, another hot man comes in. Davis and Williams each with 18 points to lead the Nuggets in scoring. Slapped away by Garland. Dawkins. Uh, Barkley was triple teamed. This time Gilliam makes it. Facing the basket, 18 points for Gilliam. High man of the game is Hawkins with 24, but he has not scored in the fourth quarter. 83-78 Denver, ticking down to 6.15 left. Double team on Matumbo. And Matumbo races it down, only three seconds to shoot. Williams lets it go, swish! They say it will count! And it's a three-pointer, desperation by Reggie Williams. Matumbo right in front of his bench, the whole bench shouting for him to shoot it. And he went the risky route, passing it all the way outside. And you can see Lineham at the top of your picture. He was all the way on the baseline shouting at Tommy Nunez. Looked like that shot came well after the buzzer. Big rebound, and Matumbo gets it with Shackelford all over him. The foul is against Philadelphia. Shackelford has his fourth. So Denver has opened up their biggest lead. Let's see that last shot. I tend to agree with you, Dan, on this. Let's listen. Williams lets it go. Swish! Well, tough one. Tough to call, but uh, the ball has to leave his hands before that buzzer goes off. They push Matumbo far from the basket. Nuggets have to be patient here. This is a big shot. Give him a 10-point lead. Macon takes it. Swish! Mark Macon with seven points. And the Denver Nuggets lead the hometown Sixers by 10 with five minutes left in the game. Barkley stripped by Williams. The Nuggets in a hurry. Williams finds Macon. And Anderson scraps. Scraps again and is foul number three on Barkley. The Nuggets, uh, just at this point, appear to want it more than the 76ers. They are very aggressive. We'll take another look at it. The Macon misses the first shot. Uh, Cadillac will miss this one, but goes right back and gets it again. And the foul right there. Cadillac goes to the line for two. And Al, right now, 76ers have a big problem on their hands because they've got a young team here in the Nuggets and gain confidence that they can win on the road. And 76 are shooting just 37% from the floor. You got to convert on these, though. Cadillac Anderson, 58% foul shooter. There's 12 points tonight. 450 to go. Matumbo in the crowd, but he can't hold on. 76ers, a half-court team, has used the clock. And that could get him into trouble now with just four and a half minutes left in the game. Armin Gilliam against Cadillac Anderson. Matumbo comes over to help. Gilliam with 20 points. 88 to 80 in favor of the Nuggets. It's Garland and Macon with Matumbo, Anderson, and Williams, the starting five reunited. Near steal by Barkley. Cross court to Garland. He goes for three. Swish. Winston Garland downtown, and he has made some big shots tonight. And a great pass by Mutombo because Winston was open way on the other side of the court, and Dikembe took his time and found the open man. Sixers call a timeout. Jimmy Lynham trying to shake his team loose. They are trailing by 11 points on their home floor with just four minutes to go. People roast out here. For a thousand miles from anywhere. Is that a ship? Uh, no one will save us. Three Miller Genuine Drafts. Filtered Miller Genuine Draft. For those who've discovered its real draft taste, 
the world is a very cool place. It's NBA action at its best. Charles Barkley, David Robinson, Carl Malone, and Denver's own 7'2", Dikembe Mutombo. And kids, it's free. Target and Pepsi present Youth Nights at the Nuggets. Just pick up your Target Pepsi Youth Night coupon at the Pepsi display in participating Target stores. Presented at any Ticketmaster location or the Arena Box Office. And for every adult ticket you purchase, you'll get up to two children's tickets free. Get your coupons today and catch the excitement of NBA action free. You know, like the old saying goes, uh, there's no I in the word team. Yeah, there are really no individuals here. It takes everybody giving their all to be the best. We're out to be the best. We know it takes more than just us to do that. It takes all of us, really. We're backed by everybody at CNN. We have a whole newsroom full of dedicated people who are committed to this community. If you go on the air with a team like that, you really can't lose. Folks, if you still have that pencil handy, you may want to jot down this address. You can take your best shot at winning Colorado Lottery tickets in the Denver Nuggets Colorado Lottery Bank Shot Challenge. You could win lottery tickets where scratch games offer you the chance to win thousands instantly. Register at all Nuggets home games or by sending a postcard to this address. You must be 18 years of age. Nuggets by 11. Barkley penetrating, and it is swatted away by Cadillac Anderson. Teams are finding it increasingly more difficult to penetrate inside against the Nuggets with Matumbo and Anderson there. Yeah, and most teams, if you beat the big guy in the middle, you've got it made, but Cadillac comes over and gives that help to Matumbo. The force by Gilliam. Anderson tries to reel it in, but he cannot, so it gives Philadelphia the ball again. The Nuggets, after losing by 38 in Boston Monday night to open the trip, have come back strong here in Philadelphia. Not impressive uh, field goal percentages in the fourth, but still the Nuggets uh, better than the Sixers. 76ers started out the game shooting bad, and it's gotten worse. <laughs> the Sixers have called a full timeout with just a little over three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. The Nuggets are being led by Reggie Williams with 21 points. Walter Davis off the bench with 18 and nine field goals. We have uh, Walter unofficially nine of 11 from the field. Good balance scoring with Dikembe Mutombo, 16 points. Cadillac Anderson with 12. Armand Gilliam, 20. Percy Hawkins, 24. Charles Barkley, 18 for the Philadelphia 76ers. This season, the new Mix 107.5 presents Target Pepsi Youth Nights with the Nuggets. Stop by the Pepsi display at your local Target store, and that's where you could pick up a coupon. Then you bring it to any Ticketmaster location, including Sound Warehouse and May DNF stores. And with every adult ticket you purchase, you'll get two free youth tickets for selected Nugget games. What a deal. For more information, call 893-3865. Come out to visit the Nuggets this year. Great uh, holiday games. Uh, in the offing, as we've talked about throughout the course uh, of this evening, Charles Barkley comes uh, into Denver for his lone appearance on December 30th. That's preceded by Larry Bird on the 28th. Al, as you look at the record book, the Nuggets have had less success in this building than just about any arena in the NBA. As a matter of fact, the last time the Nuggets won here in Philadelphia, 1987. When they came away with a 10-point win, 131 to 121. But right now, with just the 339 to go, the Nuggets hold an 11-point lead. Nuggets with a record of 8 and 10, looking to move one closer to the 500 with the Nets on tap tomorrow night. Barkley trying to get free from Williams, but really getting a good shadow. And Armand Gilliam with authority. 22 points for Gilliam tonight. He had a season-high 29 in the victory against Chicago on Saturday. Nuggets by nine. Matumbo works it outside. Nuggets working the clock and looking for the best shot. The fake by Williams. The stutter step. No. And uh, Williams is right. 
Whistled for a foul. That's exactly what the Nuggets don't want to give. The 76 is a chance to get to the foul line with the clock stopped. Watch Reggie. Fakes behind the back pass. That enables him to get the shot up over Minute. And the ball. All ball. He wanted the jump. But the official says no. We'll get another angle at it. This ball found Reggie. And he had all ball. And you can see the screen. Jimmy Capers was screened out of the play. There's no way he could see the basketball. Reggie with his back to the official. Al Albert along with uh, the horse horse. <laughs> Last week it was me. I can stand. Just kind of going around. One more shot by Armand Gilliam. The uh, horse you may be, you get the star of the night. We're uh, work, working through this whole evening. We just have 3.07 to go. You'll get there. If I don't run out of secrets, I'll be fine. <laughs> 23 points now for Gilliam. Eight-point lead for the Nuggets. Walter Davis is back in. Pressure now by the 76ers. They need the ball back. We're under three minutes. Barkley's assignment is Davis. Matumbo on ball. He makes the move and whisks by him. 18 points for Dikembe Matumbo. Played a terrific game. Very patient. He's had ball on him a good portion of the time, but moving that ball around. And he's gotten smoother and smoother with that little move. Barkley for three. A flick of the wrist. 21 now for Barkley. And the Sixers are seven back. Two and a half to go. And Paul West had a wise timeout. He wants to bring this one home and uh, will take the opportunity to talk to his team. 93 to 86, the Nuggets holding on to the lead in Philadelphia as we get down to the final chapter when we return. This is Sam Patel, and he's living in the land of opportunity. He moved here from India five years ago last Wednesday, and he opened up a 7-Eleven store in Mountain View, California, where he sells a lot of Slurpees and a few big gulps and big bites and good stuff like that. To folks like Ned the Barber and the latest Monday Night Bowling Legion. So if you're pursuing the American dream or just something good to eat or drink, stop by your 7-Eleven, the sign of the time. Just a reminder from the Colorado Lottery that life's not all fun and games. Kevin Johnson, Tom Chambers, the Red Hot Phoenix Suns will be waiting for the Nuggets when they return home a week from tonight. Back at McNichols Arena against Phoenix, Suns have now won eight in a row and have certainly put it together. For more information, you can call that number, 893-3865, or you can reserve your tickets right now by calling Ticketmaster. Operators are standing by. The Nuggets, after this five-game trip, return home a week from tonight at McNichols Arena's 7 o'clock game against the Phoenix Suns. Paul Westhead. For him, it's a long two and a half minutes to go. That's the last time the Nuggets won here, and they had a starting lineup that night of Alex English, Wayne Cooper, Jay Vincent up front with Fat Lever and Michael Adams in the backcourt. A foul is called. The Nuggets work a quick shot and a quick play. You would figure may, after the timeout, may want to work the clock, but uh, caught Philadelphia by surprise. Nobody expected that. It's a foul on Gilliam. That's only his first of the ball game. And uh, the Nuggets still are not in the uh, bonus situation. And so uh, they will put the ball in play. I think you're right, Al. I think that uh, Coach Westhead realizing the 76ers were expecting him to take some time off the clock, he went for the quick bucket. 13 foul on Philadelphia. Nuggets spread out. Give it to Winston Garland. Now they're working the clock. 12 seconds to shoot. It may not leave the Nuggets with a great shot, but they'll take time off the clock. Winston Garland has been uncanny tonight. He's made five field goals, and all of them crippling to the 76ers. It's a nine-point lead now. 
And this uh, will send uh, Johnny Dawkins to the line. The Nuggets are over the limit. Garland has his fourth personal foul. So the clock stops at 158. Sweating this one out is Jimmy Lynham. That's the 7-11 Sitco NBA scoreboard. Uh, with a four-point lead in Minnesota, Utah at the Lakers later on, and Detroit at the Clippers. So San Antonio uh, in their ball game, trying to snap their uh, five-game losing streak. The Knicks are now leading Seattle by 11. It was a one-point game last time we checked in. Miami by five over Cleveland. First foul shot by Dawkins is good. And yeah, the little lefty goes up and hits the second. He only has four points tonight. Macon beats him down and twirls it up. And the uh, Mark Macon fans in Philadelphia with a standing ovation for the former former Temple All-American. Nuggets again by nine, and now time running out on Philadelphia, one minute 43, and they're using a lot of seconds to get this shot off. Gilliam gets the double team. Dawkins for two. Run down by Bowl, but it's now a minute and a half to go. Crowd wants him to shoot. Makes a nice pass. Hawkins draws a crowd. Now Denver with the ball. They have to queue up the fat lady about now. 120 left. The crowd is convinced this is over. Half of this uh, crowd at the Spectrum has uh, have already hit the exits. Paul Westhead not taking any chances whatsoever. He has a few timeouts to play with. He calls one more, but he's in pretty good position. Up nine with 116 left. You know when it's right. You know when you feel it, baby. You hold it. You hear it, you taste it, it's right. You got the right one, baby. Yeah. You got the right one, baby. Make your break for Breckenridge and see the 1992 Diet Pepsi Team Ski Challenge. Now, a Supreme Pizza is just $8.99, and any other pizza is... Four bucks more. So I could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Green Peppers, Pepperoni, or even another Supreme... That's right. You could choose Meat Lovers, Cheese Lovers, Plus Pepperoni, Lovers, Mushroom Pepperoni, Onions Pepperoni, Mushroom and Anchovies, or even another Supreme. The new Pizza Hut Supreme Four Bucks deal. Now get any medium pizza for four bucks when you buy a Supreme for just $8.99. Make the second a cheese. Is that plain cheese, extra cheese, cheese lovers, plus Call now. Cheese, cheese, and One of our guests for tonight's game will receive a gift from Panasonic. Panasonic just slightly ahead of our time. And the Nuggets right now more than slightly ahead of the Philadelphia 76ers. There is assistant coach Jim Boyle along with assistant coach Mike Evans uh, behind Paul Westhead. Jim Boyle, of course, returns also to Philadelphia. Jim Boyle's son is married to Jim Lynham's daughter. And uh, Brian Boyle, the grandson of both Jim Boyle and Philadelphia 76er head coach Jim Lynham. Jim Lynham seeing his two-game win streak crumbling. And you could almost see this one coming, Al, because uh, they had had two big emotional wins over big-time opponents. Probably haven't seen the Nuggets play much, not prepared. They thought they might be playing the Nuggets from a year ago, and uh, they were just never in this game. Garland ends up a pass to Anderson, traveling violation, although there's anyone who should be prepared going up against the team of Westhead and Boyle, it, uh, you would think it'd be Jimmy Lynham. Well, I'm sure that Coach Lynham was ready. Yeah. His players just oh. weren't. Matumbo rips this one down. Down to 50 seconds to go, and the Denver Nuggets are on their way to their second victory on the road. And they will be even at one-on-one -on, -one on this five-game trip, heading to New Jersey tomorrow night to face the Nets. A 5.30 start. You'll be able to see on the PSN. We'll return Monday here on Channel 2 in Detroit. A 5.30 start. That will close out the trip. So Mark Macon looking a little more at ease on the floor tonight, returning back to Philadelphia. This one will send Cadillac Anderson to the foul line. Just 29 seconds to go. The Nuggets uh, now get a chance with a win tomorrow night to get back to that 500 mark. 
Nobody ever thought that the Nuggets could be 500 this year this late into the season. And New Jersey not playing very well uh, right now, Al. They uh, lost big time at home to the Knicks last night by 26. 13 points for Anderson. Last year, the Nuggets did not win their ninth game until January 21st. That was the 39th game of the year, nearly midseason. They were 9 and 30. And tonight, the 19th game of the year, Nuggets will go to 9 and 10. And they are uh, right now enjoying the final seconds, just dribbling out the clock. They keep the 76ers to 88 points, 10 less than the Nuggets. Well, they're tempted to take that last shot before the buzzer. That is it. The Denver Nuggets rebound beautifully off the 30. of which is unknown. 